Hello, my name is Keith Groover, and I'm the inventor and designer of this instrument, the Glide. And this is part two in a video series I'm doing uh, tutorials about how to play the Glide, how to set it up, how to hook it up to a synthesizer, how accelerometers work. Um, this is part two. I'm going to be going through the options on the Glide, uh, the various um, ways that you can set it up so that it can be you know, easier or more advanced. Um, whenever you first boot it up, it's going to be in just basic mode, which is what I covered in the last video. If you want to do more fun stuff, here is how. All right, so first of all, there's a little function button that's on that little black button right there that's on the coffin. All right, and the way we're going to do functions is we're going to hold down a button or more than one button and then click that little function button once you have all the buttons held down that you want. Uh, so first of all, um, Glide. All right, so Glide is kind of, you know, Glide is the name of the instrument and it's kind of my favorite feature. Uh, but whenever you first boot it up, it's turned off. So like, it doesn't matter how I move this thing around. It's not gonna change pitch. So what I do is I hold down the first button on the traffic light over here and then I click that function button. And now, like that. Second option is volume. So I'm going to hold down the second button over here. So I'm going to get that on the camera. All right, so second button, that middle button. Hold down the middle button and then hit the function button. And now, I can do all of that. So. Super important to be able to play expressively. Third option on the third button, I'm gonna hold this down and then hit that function button. This turns on transposition, and transposition is something I'm gonna cover in more in a future video. Uh, really quickly, the way it works is, you know, if I wanna get into a different key, like right now I'm in the key of C, if I wanna change the key of D, what I want to do is I wanna hold down a D, which will be the first two buttons over here, and then uh, I will hold the joystick. I'll put. I'll pull the joystick back towards me, and now now I'm in the key of D. Uh, all right, moving forward uh, over here in the right hand for me, the the coffin. If I hold down the top button and then do the function. This will change it into left hand mode. And what that means is that instead of volume working where this turns it down, it's going to be volume is going to, if I switch hands over here, I'm not comfortable playing this way. If I play like that, So it flips that volume control so that if you want to play with your left hand doing the striking, then you're, you can do it that way. Um, I'm flipping it back now. Yeah. All right. And then the button, the bottom button on the coffin and the function button, that turns on uh, this feature where you can, it, it changes the brightness. In MIDI CC uh, uh, messages, it's number 74. Uh, a lot of synth apps allow you to map MIDI to whatever. So I've got it on this one. I've got it, you know, changed to like a contour thing. So it sounds like this. Again. So it's kind of fun to play around with. Uh, I tend to map the tone quality stuff over. I, I, I have it go along with the volume. I'll talk about them, that more whenever I talk about synthesizer apps. Um, all right, and the joystick, if you hold the joystick to the right, you will change the pitch bend range. And this is really important with your uh, MIDI apps, with your synth apps, that the pitch bend range for the glide needs to be the same as the pitch bend, ra pitch bend range for the app. Um, if it's not, they will not line up. So here's, you know, right now the default is 48 half steps, 48 half steps up, 48 half steps down. That covers the entire range of the glide. So I go from like the lowest note on the glide, and then go way high, like that. I'm pretty, yeah. So I go. I can hit that whole range. 
Um, but there are three other options because not all um, synth apps and not all synths allow you to do 48 half steps. Um, so if you need to, you take the joystick, you move it to the right, you hit that function button, and it scrolls through four different options. Zero, which this basically, like there's no vibrato, nothing. Um, and then 12 half steps, 24 half steps, 48 half steps. So those are your four options. If I have those mismatched, like instead of something sounding like this, it would sound, so if I got, so I've got it set at 12 here. You go. You know, and then the vibrato is really. So I have to make sure that those two things are set correctly in order for in order for glide to work. And then the last little option, say you are you know messing around and uh, with uh, transposition, and you've gotten into a totally weird key, and you have no idea where you are. So you know, don't know where you are. If you push the joystick to the left and then do the function button, that will bring you back to middle C. Like that. Um, there's one more option, which I guess it's an option. Uh, whenever you turn whenever you turn the glide on the default way that it's going to connect is uh, you're going to have that built-in synthesizer which is always outputting a square wave um, and then you can also hook up a usb cable and do uh, midi over usb that's the default way to connect but if you um, hold down the joystick button that button on the back and then you turn it on it'll actually boot it up into Bluetooth mode. And in order to do Bluetooth mode, um, and then from there you can just hook it up to whatever synth app you are using. Um, let me hook it up here. Connected. Yeah, it's connected now. And you notice it's back in that basic mode. Um, what's nice about the, the way that the, the options are laid out is that, you, yes, it doesn't save your settings, it doesn't save your preferences, but it's really easy to get to to get it all set up once you boot it up. Um, so right now it's in complete beginner mode, but if I do the first, second, and third buttons all at the same time, remember that is glide, volume, and transposition. Those are like the three options that I use the most. Um, if I do all three of those buttons and then just hit that function button, now I am. I'm ready to go. And that is about it. So next time I'll talk about synth apps more and how to connect them and how to play around with them. Um, and then the, the video after that, I'm going to talk about accelerometers and get a little bit more of a deep dive into how accelerometers work um, when you're playing with the glide. And that is it. So I uh, hope that's been helpful. Let me know if you have any more questions and if I need to clarify anything, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And that's it. Thank you very much.